Hey everybody, welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where we go all over the country, eat at fabulous and sometimes not so fabulous places, and bring reviews to you. Today is a beautiful day and we are down in the Florida Keys. We are in Little Torch Key and we've decided to eat at Kiki Sandbar. This place comes highly recommended and it has our favorite thing which we're going to introduce you to in a moment. Let's go check it out. Walking into this restaurant is not really walking into any restaurant at first. I mean, you're practically right on the beach. We decided it was a bit windy today and we wanted to sit upstairs where they have a lovely dining room, no wind at all. The menu at this place is pretty wonderful. As you can imagine, there's a ton of fish. And what I like is that you want your fish fried, you'd like it grilled, you want it blackened. You can order it that way on a platter. You can get on a sandwich that way, on a salad that way, um, or you can just do it um, with like rice and vegetables. Plus, if you're not big into seafood, but you're coming here with company, they have hamburgers and lots of other things that I'm sure is gonna satisfy everyone in your group. This is a really cool place, and in fact, you can actually park your boat and walk up the, the dock here, and so there's no excuse not to come, guys. I mean, you're, whether you're by car or by boat, they got a place for you to park. Anyway, we got our beer, and this is the crazy lady Honey Blonde Ale. Try to say that three times fast. Anyway, looks really good. Let's see how it tastes. <sighs> Ooh, that's tasty. It's called Crazy Lady. It's like they knew I was coming. <laughs> mm. Remember when I was telling you that they have something that we're really excited about? One of our favorites from the Keys? Well, let me tell you about it. It's called ahi tuna nachos. And when I say nachos, it's not like Mexican nachos. Not at all. This is raw tuna on wontons. Well, check it out. Let me just show you what it is. You've got raw tuna. You've got wontons. You've got a soy and wasabi mix with peas. And it's our favorite. We had it last year down here for the first time. We've been hooked on it ever since. So, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this bite with me. Oh, and there's pickled ginger, and I forgot to mention, this is seaweed. So, not like your typical nacho, but here we go. Did I fit that in my mouth? Oh yeah. Hmm. Did you see that? I got it all in my mouth in one bite. Never any doubt. Mm. Oh my god. It's really sweet actually. The, the teriyaki. Did I say soy earlier? I think I meant to say teriyaki. Is fantastic. And the wasabi. These are wonderful. Absolutely worth it coming here to get. It's my turn to try these nachos. So we tried them at a different, let's get that. Need to get some ahi on that. Uh, we tried them at a different restaurant last year. Hmm. There you go, man. I gotta give, give you a big and a small. You have not a problem. Really nice. Chip for crispy. Paul's right. This the sauce is really good. He didn't mention the fact that there's like black and um, white sesame seeds on it. And then they have the little wasabi peas, like that. You can put that in my mouth. Crunchy. Okay, one thing I will say, if you like fish, but you don't want to eat it raw, that's okay, because they'll cook the tuna for you, if that's the way you prefer it. It's just, it's my preference I have, and if you're really into sushi, you are gonna absolutely love this plate of ahi nachos. We decided to share uh, a meal, since the nachos, even though they're an appetizer, they're a meal, guys. So what we got was called the Locals Mixed Fish. And what it is, is they have, it's got five ounces of grouper, five ounces of mahi, and five ounces of snapper. Check it out. This is your yellow snapper. This is your mahi, and underneath here, 
is your grouper. So look at all this fish. We chose to get it blackened. You can also get it grilled with like garlic and lemon, but I don't know. I don't know about Amy, but I'm a sucker for things that are blackened. So I'm like, yes, let's get blackened. And she's like, yes dear, but I think she likes it too. Anyway, it also comes with some rice and some squash. So it's, it's kind of healthy, right? It's actually really freaking good. Mm. So I'm gonna just try one of these fishes here and I'm gonna do the snapper because snapper is like super popular down here and they say it's like one of the best fish. So I'm going to break this off of here. And it comes with this sauce. It's like a tartar sauce, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I wanna do this just straight, fresh for you. Doesn't it look good? Oh man. You know, I think you can take any white fish and blacken it and make it taste good. So I almost like, it's almost kind of hard to say that, oh, the snapper is better than this because it's black and that pepper really kind of takes over. But I love, oh. Stupid. I forgot to put lemon on it. All right, for hey, you. Don't what? take a second bite of the same I'm fish. I'm not. I'm not. I was just gonna switch it over. Sitting here making do the me mahi. starving, and then Amy's so hungry. Well, here we go. That's the mahi. Mm. Mm. Finally, I get to have a bite. Just kidding. I'm gonna try the grouper. Did I say that right? He's only had to tell me like three times. Mm. I mean, mm. that fish is so moist. I mean, who likes dry fish? But you've all we've all had it from time to time at a restaurant. That's good. Mahi mahi is one of my favorites, so I'm gonna take a bite of that next. I like the snapper better, but they're all good. Um, you didn't eat snapper, you had grouper. <laughs> I told you. Now you gotta try the snapper. I will, hold on. <laughs> mm. <coughs> now you get the snapper. So while I'm cutting this up, I will say the rice was, um, was nice. It's a little oily, but that's to be expected in a fish shop. And that's the best. And that's the grouper. That's the snapper. That's the snapper. <laughs> so I started with the grouper? Yes. It's hard to find. So dumb today. Mm. They're all good. We're going to fight over these pieces of fish, I can tell you that. To me, I'm just going to mix them all up so then it won't matter. It's all in my mouth. I am stuffed. Oh my god, guys. And we just had one appetizer and one main dish. We shared it all and it was so much food and it was so good. So let me, let's, let's talk about this place a little bit. We got here, it's our first time coming here. It was recommended. We met the waitress outside walking in. She was very helpful. We said, hey, we wanna go where it's not so windy. She brought us upstairs, put us in this lovely room that is quiet, but we have a great view of the channel and no wind so that was really nice now i like wind but it's really hard to shoot a video in the wind they had a good beer selection i'm drinking another one so obviously the beer was good and the menu covered a lot of food now obviously when you come to a place like this you're going to get fish why would you get a burger here right for that amount of fish guys i've paid that much for half that amount of fish at other restaurants so the fact that I'm in a touristy area and I just got a whole bunch of fish and those nachos they were amazing they were presented well when the guy brought the nachos they looked great like they took some time with it and I would say 
that when we ordered, we had our food under 10 minutes. Easily under 10 minutes. All of it just came like that. I have no complaints. This place was affordable, delicious, fast, uh, accommodating. It, it had it all. And we didn't even really hit the bar. You know, I bet if I would have hit the bar and started buying drinks at the bar, I would have had an even, even better time because you know me. Kiki's Sandbar, give it two thumbs up. You should definitely check it out when you're down in the Florida Keys. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, you know, shoot us a comment. We want recommendations of where we can go eat. And you guys know where the good places are, or maybe the not so good that we should go check out because we like weird, crazy experiences too. Before uh, we end this video, I want to encourage you guys to find your local food banks, whatever they're called, and donate some time, money, or food because you can make a big difference in someone else's life and make yourself feel good too. And in fact, I have a link down in the description below of if you don't know where they are, you can find the one that's in your area. So, till we eat again, guys, we'll see ya.